Hey, Nathan, Daniel here. I just wanted to check in, do a quick video. It is Monday morning, and uh, I just had breakfast, and I figured I had some time to make my video. <clears throat> um, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I knew that a couple weeks ago when I posted my video about my new piercings, that I promised that I would do a recap later on, keep you updated, and it's been two weeks, so I figured I could do that today. Um, and just as I predicted, I have gotten them caught on almost everything. Um, I've hit them with my deodorant, uh, like brushed up against them. Um, they've been caught on my backpack. Uh, my clothes, the bed sheets, pretty much anything that could touch them and grab them has done it. Uh, so that's cool, but it's been two weeks and they don't really hurt anymore. Well, they definitely don't hurt anymore, and even when things get caught on them a little, uh, it doesn't hurt. Uh, so that's good. Uh, I think they're starting to heal up really nice. I'd like to talk a little bit about aftercare. Uh, after you get them done, you definitely need to keep them clean and, and uh, to avoid infection. And one of the things that you want to get right off is a just a pure saline solution. Well, that's an oxymoron. You want a saline solution. Um, I put mine in a little shot glass and I use a Q-tip. I put it in the, the shot glass to get it wet and I clean them with the Q-tip. Uh, and I kind of use like a rolling motion so that it's rolling the stuff away uh, from the opening. I don't know how other people do it, but that's how I do it and it seems to work really well. I found the best time to do it is after a shower. I'll make sure everything's uh, nice and loose. And uh, like at night, because I take my showers in the morning, at night what I do when I clean them is I put the saline solution in the shot glass and then I tip it up and hold it against my skin and I let them soak that way for just a couple minutes in the saline solution before I clean them. It helps loosen things up and uh, initially it makes it less painful. Uh, so that's good. Uh, something else that I want to touch on, I haven't had any problems with infection because I take care of them, but if you do, do not take them out. If you take them out, uh, it can heal from the outside in, trapping that infection inside of you and it's going to make it worse. So do not take them out, even if your doctor tells you to. A lot of doctors make that mistake. Do not take them out if they get infected. Leave them in and take care of them that way. Otherwise that infection could get caught in your body and it's going to be a lot worse. So yeah. So far, I'm, I'm really happy with them. I um, would recommend anybody who, who likes the idea to do it. Uh, doesn't hurt that bad. Like I said, two weeks later and the pain is gone. You have to be a little careful about uh, when you're getting dressed. Uh, one of the first things you learn to do is uh, when you're putting your shirts on to hold it as far away from your body as possible when you pull it down. So it's kind of a learning curve, but you learn to deal with it. They become part of you. Something else I would recommend, if you have a, like a loofah, one of the, the shower proof things, don't use it. <laughs> uh, I definitely would recommend to switch away from one of those, especially for the first few months. Uh, for the first uh, few days, I was really cautious with it, and then they stopped hurting, so I stopped worrying about them as much, and then they got caught on that. So, if you have one, I'd recommend not using it for a while. If you are going to be using it, be very careful. <laughs> it did not feel good. Uh, that's really all I have today. Uh, remember Wine Wednesday is coming up. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what you can... I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, how you should go about 
uh, entering the workforce when your passion doesn't provide a stable income. And so I'm going to talk a little bit more about following your passion on Wednesday. Also on Wednesday, my boot camp journals start. They're going to be almost every single day for about the next month and a half. So be sure to check in every day and watch those if you're interested. And then we have our regular Friday video as well. I hope to see you soon. And remember, you can follow me on social media. I'm at Nathan Daniel on Twitter, at Nathan Daniel 03 on Instagram and Snapchat. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. And remember, until next time, be loud, be heard, but most importantly, be yourself. See ya. Every single day, to correspond with the actual days that I was in boot camp.